Hello beautiful Aries. Welcome to Divine Empowerment. My name is Joanne and I just want to say a big special thank you to everyone who has subscribed, liked, commented, shared the videos. Much love. And I'm super super excited about this next gift giveaway. This is a serpentine crystal and I have linked all the information below in the description. Um, the metaphysical properties of this stone which my favorite is that it actually helps awaken the kundalini rising energy right so um, if you're new to the channel please um, subscribe and find me on Facebook I put my link right below send me a message let me know so that I can add your name to the drawings I will be doing special gift giveaways with every 100 subscribers and this is going really quickly now so definitely um, just to help me keep up with things and get these gifts out as soon as I reach um, 300 it would definitely help for you to contact me on Facebook mm, much love all right Aries I'm super excited about today's reading like I said I'm just super excited about this serpentine it is gorgeous Let's see if I can get a better view and it's also made by the same artist stony crystals which I put his Instagram in the description below now I've already pre dealt the reading and I am using a new mic today so um, I've had several complaints about the audio so please let me know if this is improved <laughs> okay that way um, I think the next mic upgrade for me is around 139 but you know if it needs to happen it needs to happen right and I do want to thank everyone who has purchased um, the Akashic reading and clearing that has been phenomenal also too I've had a uh, second level uh, Akashic readings and purchases and the manifestation blueprint so I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to start turning these cards over. Like I said, I haven't looked at them yet. But the overall energy is, um, Aries, is that you're feeling a little out of balance with your money right now, with your pentacles. But that's okay. Um, you know, this is just a temporary, and that usually happens around this time of the year, right? Okay, so... Yes, definitely temporary. Okay. So, overall, Aries, you guys, you're loving. You're so ready <laughs> to start this new cycle. You're so, so ready to start the new year. However, um, there's an overall energy of self-sabotage. So, remember, everything in divine timing okay that is key and your pinnacles are going to straighten themselves back out in no time just don't sabotage sabotage that um, that resolution in other words if things seem a little wonky right now in the money department don't attach to it because it's going to soon correct itself and also to a lot of you are stepping into your uh, your soul missions right you're feeling inspired to uh, to do something that speaks to your heart rather than being logical about money and how you make money you're stepping into that place of well you know what this might have been okay before but um, you know now I need more fulfillment now because of this transition or because of this inspiration you're gonna want to run full speed ahead like I said slow down Aries <laughs> all right if you just jump off and do your mission work you're going to go through some extreme financial constraints right so you don't want to do that you want to give yourself the space 
to discover what you want to do. What is your calling? What is your mission work? And be honest. Be honest about it, right? Don't just do it because so and so's doing it or so and so over there's doing it or whatever, right? You want to be find something that is in alignment with your divine self expression. And again, the Akashic Record reading and clearing, it comes with so much information. So much information about your soul origin origination, origination, your divine gift, your primary gifts, and your you're going to want to do the spiritual transformation before you jump off into your mission work, right? Yes, <clears throat> the universe is here to support us in our divinity and in our mission work. But remember, it requires a transformation. And the transformation starts with you. All right. And through this transformation... You're, you'll build a foundation. You'll build a foundation for your self-worth in your divine mission. So don't just run off and, you know, yes, some things do require a leap of faith. However, you want to be very practical when moving into mission work. It took me several years to move from a corporate job into my mission work so just go slow make sure that you put down the appropriate foundation for that transition okay and the wheels fortune so yes lots and lots and lots of star seeds being activated right now lots of twin flame uh, contracts being activated right now and the fortunes will okay that's basically saying Aries you can do anything you choose to do anything just spin the wheel and there it goes there's no judgment on like you've got to get it right the first time it took me several several modalities before I found one that really resonated with me okay I didn't want to be a band-aid I didn't like I like I'm also a Reiki master but I didn't see any significant shifts within my clients right it was like they would come in do the Reiki they would leave great happy but then a week later they've done they're right back where they were to me that was not transformational so that's also something to consider when stepping into your mission work is um, what is going to fulfill you right lean in open yourself up to this new inspiration to this new guidance coming in okay door to spirit make that connection with your higher self let that inspiration feed down into you and then take steps towards that because it may come in one way and you're like oh that's what I want to do that's perfect right but then once you start doing it you're like mm, no that doesn't mean it's time to walk away it just means that you need to adjust your alignment until something does resonate with you now I did pull some clarifiers yes don't stress about the money let do not attach to any kind of out of balance stuff happening with your financial situation and do not get stuck by moving too quickly ahead right so the devil I mean it's all about constriction slowing you down right just take your time okay take your time let it let it be unfold naturally in the moment especially and Queen of Wands for the transformation yes Aries you're ready you're ready for transformation right you guys are ready now this is a reading for the collective so take what resonates toss the rest and if I don't resonate with you at all then chances are 
I'm not the person you need to work with, right? <laughs> Do us both a favor, okay? But take actions toward your transformation, to, toward your discovery of your, your self-work. What, what does your mission look like, right? Take easy steps. But also, too, like this card down here, she's got these crystal balls. She didn't just run and fly off the cliff and said, universe, catch me. She put some thought into this. She took her time, right? She was very methodical about it. And yes, prepare yourself. <laughs> Again, make sure that you pack your bag. Make sure that you've got all the tools that you need. As you can see here, he's got this bow and arrow, right? Make sure that you have everything ready to go for divine timing. Now, I did do some guidance cards for you guys. Um, so there's two groups of you. There's the group that's going to want to charge ahead regardless anyway. And they will, they'll have to hit rock bottom, bottom before they get back up. Okay, that's one group. Then the other ones are going to be like, you know what? This does require transformation. And even though I may not get it right the first time, I need to at least prepare myself for that transition, that transformation. Okay, so for the ones that are going to go forward anyway, right? Air, breathing deep, entering into life, exchange of life bringing energies. You guys are really going to feel it. So again, please, please, once you hit that place, that financial constraint, it's almost like you 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 attached to this current money funky situation and then you just didn't let go. And you're going to need help. So make sure you call in help, right? Because you can course correct it any time. You don't have to hit rock bottom. Now, for those of you that are um, definitely going to take the time, you know, pace yourself, put some thought into this, put some, um, you know, time, and know that just because the fortune's wheel lands here doesn't mean that you can't spin it again, right? And this is for you. Okay. So the unseen, too much is hidden from you. All right. Too much is hidden from you at this time. So chances are you don't know exactly what your mission work is at this moment. All right. So all <clears throat> all the more reason to take your time. Go slow. Don't get in a hurry. Call in the intention so that your higher self and your spirit guides can step in and inspire you into the right fields. Also, too, um, the Akashic Reading Level 1 and Clearing, it's profound, especially when it comes to mission work. All right, you guys. You have a blessed, blessed weekend, and see you guys next week. Much love.